Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about the assertion library Chai. This is one library which you can hook into any of the JavaScript test framework. In this series, we have been working on Mocha. And in part two of this video series, we have already installed Chai in this project using the command npm i chai and we have installed one more extension so that we don't have to type it out completely and we don't have to you know uh, remember everything the intelligence will show us right so what all different assertions are available as you could see the moment you start typing right you will see all the different options right so now chai provides us two styles of writing this assertion tdd and bdd so TDD uses assert, all right? And this is how you are going to uh, import this um, interface, right? Then for BDD, we have like expect and should, right? We have been using expect this far, right? And uh, this is uh, the mostly used interface from this child library. But uh, you know, if you're a developer, right? And you prefer TDD, then you, you can also go for this, all right? And then the another one is should uh, as you could see it is slightly different so should is a method so this is how we have to invoke this interface all right should then uh, let's talk about the usage of uh, assertion and uh, you know what are the right usages and you know what are invalid and unnecessary things right so in chai assertion right so we what are we going to do we are going to assert our data primarily right so when you uh, are doing the unit testing right you have to go for test doubles right so that's not what chai is going to offer you for that we have a different library which we are going to cover in the upcoming videos and then all right so in this video we'll solely focus on okay hey you know you get the response back and then you have to assert the uh, you know the response and the response could be you know the uh, return value from a function all right or it could be you know the the response from the endpoint all right so or it could be a response from your database it could be anything right so that's what we are going to assert and in javascript we uh, you know have different uh, types of uh, data for example you know we have uh, so if, if i can just open this we we can we have you know this this variable type and number all right so we have also have arrays we have objects and you could see now this is string all right uh, then we have functions uh, we have boolean uh, we have any end which is not a number and undefined right so these are the different uh, forms in which we are going to get the data back all right so now then what are the different tests that we are going to write on you know each of these so let's uh, assume that you know this is the data so we have an array right so what are we going to assert we are going to of course assert that you know what is the type of this data and it has to be an array so in case of string it has to be string in case of number it has to be number and so on all right so then because this is an array so it always has a length right so this is something that we are going to test in case of array what is the length of the array uh, then we are going to test you know whether this array holds uh, all these values right whether this is equal to this or not so there are two types of equal uh, deep equal and uh, equal right so they you can also if you are familiar with double equal to and triple equal to in javascript so double equal to means deep equal and triple equal to means equal all right so if you are not familiar so what you can do is you can watch uh, these two videos right so i've already created uh, series uh, on on javascript for beginners on onto my channel right so you can go here qa box let's test how are you going to search that all you have to do is youtube forward slash c and then qa box let's test right so you land onto my page or channel so click on the playlist and here's the playlist javascript tutorial for beginners and you have to watch part 5 and part 26 all right okay so then the next thing that we are going to test into array is whether if let's say you want to test any specific value right so you're going to test include right so 30 is included 40 is included and 50 is included then you are going to test for 
order right so as you could see in this object the order is 30 40 and 50 so same way you have to test the order because order is also important and then you can work on the individual values using index all right uh, the other thing that you have to test here is not all right so you want to say that it does not include this all right or it may not be of type that right so type may not be the correct example but it does not include the value 60 is something that you you can check but then if you are checking equal right so you don't need to even check you know what should not be included and these are the few things that we are going to now see that what makes sense what does not uh, because it's already covered or it is irrelevant or it is unnecessary right so the next thing and these are certain guidelines that we are now talking about so be exact as much as possible so for example now this is how we are going to write the expect assertions we are going to say expect 20 to be equal 20 all right and the incorrect versions would be expect 20 to be above 10 and expect 20 to be below 30 right so in testing we have to be precise right so we say okay this is the expected outcome all right and we do not have a kind of you know list that okay anything from this list if matches then i'm good all right no so we have to be precise as much as possible into into testing right so uh, this is uh, a valid test case i'll say uh, you know people write uh, test cases of this as well but let's imagine that you know uh, in this particular case so expect 20 to be above 10 right so even uh, you know 21 is above 10 25 is above 10 and let's imagine your system breaks at the value 27 right so this is not precise this is precise right so so go for this similarly unnecessary assertions what are these so we have the expect array to have length of three all right so when we know that you know the array contains three values it does not make sense to check this expect array to not be for example not be undefined all right it is not making sense because you know that the value is three so the value is three of course means uh you know you have assigned something to the variable array all right and it cannot be undefined so just make sure that you just you know don't add up you know all these unnecessary things and one last thing that we have to understand so if let's say so here are two assertions right so if this assertion fails right and both these assertions are written inside the same uh, it block right so inside the same test case the moment it fails right it is going to not execute anything after that all right so be careful how you design your test cases all right okay then now let's start doing the coding so I have created all these variables in here and what I've done is in the package.json I have this watch flag added so that I don't need to rerun my test cases again and again all right so let us see the basic assertion right so when we are doing assert dot okay right and then we are passing in this value false right so as you could see this is the syntax right of it so it says okay you pass in a value right so it is going to assert dot okay is going to check for the truthy value assert that object is truthy if you are passing the false value it will fail all right uh, the same way you can write this into expect is you know expect true to be a false and in should this is how you are going to write it true dot should be true all right so the style is slightly different so whatever you are comfortable with just go for that my personal preference is expect okay and also like you know it's it's not complicated because you know we have already installed that extension all right so if we run this so let me now run these one by one so i'm going to use this only which i've already covered in my previous videos so all i have to say is npm test if i run this right so you could see that expected false to be true the uh, so if you pass in the value true in here and then execute it will pass all right so there are two onlys all right so therefore two test cases were passed so now only one assert style all right so 
this is a cert all right so now let's move on to expect okay and this is how you are going to write it so we are saying true to be false and if we change it false right so now it will pass all right so it's passed so same way we have this should style so we'll say only and true should be true if we run this it should right and it's passed and if i make it false right so it would be fail so true is not equal to false all right so now i'll show you a couple of examples of uh, first assert then we are going to convert those into you know some of those into uh, expect style right and and that's going to be good enough for this tutorial all right so the first one is you know we talked about the type of it so how are you going to take the type of it so it's very simple all you have to do is let's i'll show you so you say assert dot and you could see that you know all these different options are available to you close to deep equal we already talked about it right it ignores the data type right and just checks for the value uh, deep property properties are associated with objects right so objects have those you know properties and methods so it checks out for that uh, you know does not throw an error so if you are testing a function and you're expecting that you invoke that function it should not throw you an error so you can use this equal is you know those triple equal to strict equal right so fail you know when you're invoking something you know you expect that thing to be failed right so you can use this include right arrays right we talked about it that particular value is included into it or not uh, you can also use that for string right so uh, then you have instance of right so something is an instance of a class all right so then you have is array is something that you are passing me is an array or not is it boolean is it defined is it false or not right is it a function is it not array so you also have these all these not options right so you have is null right is number is object all self-explanatory right so you can use this extension and just forget to remember all these just you know write assert and dot and then you will find all that so we have worked on this okay right uh, strict equal to then there are a few more methods that you can use with assert all right so that's how you are going to do this and what do we have to work on we have to say assert dot include all right we see that uh, so now it's available so it is also telling you yeah here you have to say array and then what are you expecting to be included you say 30 and the message that you want to add so i'm going to skip this right and this is how you have to write this right uh, so let me uncomment this and comment this out and if i execute this so all right so i think it's not saved or is it so array include assertion 30 um, just make a change all right so this still do we have okay so there is there is there is no only in here right so it was executing everything okay so now uh it is passing because 40 is there into this array if i change it to 90 all right so expected this to include 90 and this is my message all right so okay so then the next thing that we have to do is length all right so if you do this it's passing and if we change the value to 4 all right it would fail all right so you see length is in 3 okay so that's about it deep equal uh, it will pass all right so if i just save this it will pass okay it's passing however uh, this equal to is strict equal to and it will fail all right so it failed and last one is the order all right so this is how you are going to do it in a video it's really hard to cover all the assertions right so i just wanted to show you different styles that are available and different type of tests that you have to perform depending upon the data and what test should not be you know considered because that's a waste of time and in it it's going to duplicate the work that you've already done 
all right so now next that we are going to test is expect and in here i mean this statement is to be written like this all right we have already seen that and here we check the type of all right so but here we have those uh, chains right um, and if you read it like it's a it's a regular english statement expect you know this array to be an array all right so that's how we have written that expect this array to have length all right so it, it's that simple right expect array to equal this and expect array to have all keys right so let us do this example so we have the object this right so which has got two keys name and age all right so if you want to assert on all the keys that are here so you're going to use this all right uh, and what you can also do is let me check uh, we can use the to not have keys all right so if we can do this right and we say name one and age one so these things are not here and again it is passing right so this is going to check for uh, you know all the keys that are here since uh, you know if if you miss out on any of these keys right let's say there is one more uh, which is ismail right and you miss out on it right so let me do that uh, why this is not a valid uh, or why this is not required so if we just can say uh, is mail and we say true all right and if i run this test it is going to fail because uh, name and uh, besides name and age we also have ismail all right so that is about keys all right um, we also have like those things like number should be greater than and lesser than or below right but we have to go for the exact value uh, you know as far as possible so that's about uh, you know uh, expect keys uh, last one is your should and the way you have to check the that array uh, should include 30 is something like this so it will get rid of only from here and we say only all right and now if i execute this you know you could see that should is being passed right and if i change it to 90 save it it would fail all right so you could see that it is failing so these are the three different styles that are available and you know just just chai uh, offers you uh, you know a lot of uh, methods on which you can you know write your assertions but that is not the end uh, you can also write your own assertions with the help of you know these plugin utilities so you can extend the the default chai library all right so that's about chai assertion in in Mocha. Thank you so much.